Hello friends, welcome to Video Club Channel. Tony Jaa was born and raised in a rural area in Surin Province to Ren Sai Pech and Thong Di Yiram. He is of Kui descent, a Mon, mere ethnic group that inhabits Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos. The Kui practice traditions that are more similar to the traditions of Cambodia than that of traditions observed by the Lao or the Thai. The Kui are known for being skilled trainers of elephants. Tony Jaa speaks Kui, Thai, and Northern Khmer. In his youth, Jaa watched films by Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, and Jet Li at temple fairs, which inspired him to learn martial arts. He practiced the techniques in his father's rice paddy citation needed. What they Lee, Chan, and Lee did was so beautiful, so heroic that I wanted to do it too, JAA told Time in a 2004 interview. I practiced until I could do the move exactly as I had seen the masters do it. JAA began training in Muay Thai at his local temple at age 10. By 15, he was a protege of stuntman and action film director Panna Ritikrayat. Panna had instructed JAA to attend Mahasarakam College of Physical Education in Mahasarakam province from which he graduated with a bachelor's degree. JAA initially worked as a stuntman for Muay Thai stunt for 14 years, appearing in many of Riddick Rai's films. He doubled for Sammo Hung when the martial arts movie actor made a commercial for an energy drink that required him to grasp an elephant's tusks and somersault onto the elephant's back. He was also a stunt double in the Thai television series in C to N, Red Eagle. Together, Panna and JAA developed an interest in Muay Baran, the predecessor of Muay Thai and worked and trained for four years at the art with the intention of developing a film about it. Eventually they were able to put together a short film showing what JAA could do with the help of instructor Grandmaster Mark Harris. One of the people they showed it to was producer-director Prakya Pinkanua. This led to Ong Bak, Muay Thai warrior in 2003, JAA's breakout role as a leading man. JAA did all the stunts without mechanical assistance or computer-generated effects and it showcased his style of extreme acrobatics and speedy, dance-like moves. Injuries suffered in the filming included a ligament injury and a sprained ankle. One scene in the film involved fighting with another actor while his own trousers were on fire. I actually got burned, he said in a 2005 interview. I really had to concentrate because once my pants were on fire the flames spread upwards very fast and burnt my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and my nose. Then we had to do a couple more takes to get it right. His second major movie was Tom Yum Gung, the protector in the US, named after Tom Yum Su, which included a style of Muay Thai that imitates elephants. In August 2006, he was in New York to promote the US release of The Protector, including an appearance at the Museum of the Moving Image. Saham Uncle Film International advertised that Tony J.A.A.'s third film would be called Sword or Dab Adamas, about the art of Tai Two sword fighting, Dab Song Mu, with a script by Purpose Consalinant. But due to a falling out between Prakya and J.A.A., which neither have publicly commented on, Sword was cancelled. In March 2006, it was reported that there would be a sequel to Ong Bak, Ong Bak 2. With JAA both directing and starring, it started pre-production in fall 2006 and was released in December 2008. JAA's films captured the attention of his hero, Jackie Chan, who asked director Brett Ratner to cast JAA in Rush Hour 3. I gave the director videos of Tony JAA because I think Tony JAA is the most well-rounded of all action stars, Chan told the Associated Press. The director liked him a lot, Chan said. However, JAA said he'd be unable to participate because of scheduling conflicts with the shooting of Ong Bak 2. While JAA and Emma Jalang were working on Ong Bak 2, director Prakya Pinkayu and action yak choreographer Punnarita Krayai were working on Chocolate, starring a female martial artist, Nichari Bismastananda, and released 6 February 2008 17 JAA had been cast in a small role in a third installment of the King Neri Zuan film series directed by Chitrikalurmyukul, although the film was ultimately cancelled. 
Ongbok 3 was released in 2010 and provides a conclusion to this Thai trilogy. Tony Jaa and Pun Narita Kray I co-directed Ongbok 3, the 2010 sequel to the prequel Ongbok 2. On May 28, 2010, Jaa became a Buddhist monk at a Buddhist temple in Surin, Thailand. After leaving the monastery, Jaa accepted a deal with Saham Uncle Film Company. He filmed Tom Yum Gung 2 for them, with chocolate star Jajayanan in a major role too, the first time Jaa has shared the big screen with another international martial arts star. Director Prakya Pinkayu and choreographer Pun Narita Kray I also returned for this film. In 2013, Jaa teamed up with Dolph Lundgren in the Thai western comedy A Man Will Rise, which remains unfinished, and in 2014 in Lundgren's pet project Skin Trade. JAA then co-starred in the blockbuster action film Furious 7, produced by and starring Vin Diesel and directed by James Wan. JAA also teamed up with fellow actors Louis Ku and Wu Jing in Hong Kong Chinese action film SPL2. JAA was briefly attached to the remake of Kickboxer, Vengeance. However, in November 2014, it was announced that he had exited the project. JAA's most recent project was co-starring with Ben Diesel again in Triple X, Return of Xander Cage, directed by DJ Caruso and released in January 2017. In October 2016, JAA co-starred with Louis Ku again in Paradox, the third part of the SPL series. Thank you very much for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.